Hello and welcome to a workshop update. Um, I haven't really done a lot of uh, videos lately. Um, not really nothing to video really, but um, slow update. I went to a show the other day, took my pet right there, won a little trophy, which is quite good. And I picked up this uh, Lister H1 pump. It's um, 240 gallons per hour at 800 revolutions per minute. Um, you'll pump up to 48 pounds, which is quite a bit, really. Um, it's uh, been at the hands of a bodger, the looks of it, but I think it's something different, and it works well. I had it pumping off the pet ray the other day, so it's it's got a duplex chain, a twin chain. You see, it's been welded there, and it's like an, part of another pump welded onto this one. Because you've got that piece there, and it's the same piece down there. So, uh, I ain't too worried about it. I think it will look quite nice at show. I'm going to plan on painting that up and probably putting it on a nice oak skid of some sort. With a probably there, I'll have mounted a small milk churn for it to pump into. We've got several of them around here. Um, sorting out the wood shed up the top, we've got a log shed we fill up with logs. And I uh, managed to pick out some nice lengths of timber. It's mahogany and oak mainly. I just picked out some little mahogany strips. Bigger pieces. They are quite nice for projects. I do like oak, especially. There's a nice piece there. Um, there's more up there, but I haven't been able to get it out yet. I also got this compressor at the same time as I got that one. That pump. It's a Bristol duplex. So yeah, it's still got a bit of life left in it. I had the head off the other day and cleaned uh, all the rubbish out. There's no air filter on it, so it sucked in a lot of rubbish. There's no flywheel either, or flywheel pulley. So I just pushed that one on for now to test it. I haven't tested it yet, but um, I should be able to do that next week sometime. I've had a little clean up in here. It's got mucky again. Got the little Atco in there. I went for a short mode the other day, but um, what's happening is it seems to be running really weak. I can't find an air leak anywhere, and it's really hard to start. It will start on kick now, but uh, as far as I can get, really. So I'm going to put it back in here for a little while. Pet rays under there. Well, I got to rip that bits again because uh, it's leaking oil at two places. Where I used cereal box instead of gasket paper. So I'm going to get some more of that and finish it off. Little uh, AA1 there. If you remember seeing the video of it uh, running for the first time, uh, it was smoking quite a bit. But um, it keeps on smoking. The rings have bedded in, but it's still smoking diesel smoke. Now, uh, I think what's happening is the pump is pumping too much diesel, uh, too rich. But uh, I've read the manual, read a bit online, and apparently. You uh, you're not supposed to be taking you know calibrate the pump. You're supposed to send it back to Petters. But I don't really want to do that, so I'm gonna, I may rip the pump to bits if I have the nice clean up first. And I want, don't want any dust or nothing getting into it. So uh, the delivery side's all right. I clean that out. But uh, you're supposed to take apart the bottom end of the pump. I'm gonna have to be careful around that and take some pictures of it. But yeah, um, if you remember. If you've seen the Pet Ray video, I said I was running with the wrong mag. This is what's happened to the coupling on the Wyco. It's, there's two bits of it. It just sort of broke in half and the back plate come right off. There's the mag there. But um, should be able to get another one of them. Yeah, this pump isn't too bad. Nice big cast pulley on the back. It's nice and free too. Um, the AVA mounted on the trolley I got given, along with the ACO motor, I got given this nice trolley. I mounted it on that for temporarily, so I plan on next week having a nice little crank up. Um, I'll have to crank up Chris down as well, maybe Suffolk Simon. But, um, yeah, so I got that mounted up there. I'm going to start up in a minute and give it a little run. So, uh, I'll just walk down to the greenhouse a minute. I've been making a trolley for that, if you've seen from the last update. Walk down here, I've done quite a bit of planning some pumpkins the other day. Uh, 
Now here's the trolley. It's only softwood, but it looks nice. There's another Petra logo on the top as usual. Drawn on with Sharpie pen and then varnished over the top. There, this is the front of the trolley. 1954 uh, Petra AVA1 restored by K211 because I plan on restoring this fully. Um, there's mahogany dowels in there. There's the holes for the mountain with the engine. Mahogany dowels, they're not real. Underneath the top ones, there is actually screws. Um, and I put the bottom ones in just for show because you do a proper job of it. So, I hope you like that. It looks quite nice. And there's one of the cast iron wheels I'm going to be using. That's what, that one's fully painted now in uh, enamel black. It's had two coats of red oxide under that. There's two more wheels. Um, I'm yet to find stub axles because I've got to make a. There's an angle iron underneath this I'm going to put with the stub axles each side. But um, one of the wheels, I can't get off his axle at the moment. He seized on there. And I don't want to force it and break the castings because it's the only four wheels the same I have like that. The other ones are bigger, the other ones are 12 inch. But I think he's. Uh, I don't know if I got my real rule down here. Um, no. They're about 9, 10 inches, something like that. So yeah, well I'll just go and start the AVA up and show you that.
quite a bit of torque from that engine. Um, don't do it a lot of good slow idling it like that, but uh, it does sound nice. Yeah, I mounted on the trolley mainly just for a crank up during the week. Um, the cowling's still in fitted because it's badly broken. Here it is. Um, the bottom places are ripped where you bolt it on. Um, this is ripped. There's basically nowhere to bolt it on to. This piece here is ripped. So uh, if you put, probably if I put the cowling on, he would hit the flywheel and then just mash it all up. So uh, I'm not going to risk it. He doesn't get very hot at the moment, so uh, when I restore it, obviously I will finish it off. Just a D done well at the show the other day. I don't know if he'll start or no. Um, let's see if I can go for a one-handed start. I got the flywheel off this uh, bits of D as well. So that's been started since about, I don't know, a week ago. I was talking to uh, Stuart this morning. He had his D running a bit rough. So uh, there you go, Stuart. That's the proper way for a D to run. Put the hacksaw up here as well now, because I'm trying to tidy up a bit. Uh, I know it's not very tidy now, but yeah. Oh yeah, um, Chris was trying to get this one to run all right the other day because it kept hunting. Um, the reason for that was uh, it was out of fuel, so uh, that's why it wouldn't hunt. That's why it wouldn't uh, stop hunting, Chris. Uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please comment, and uh, thanks for watching.